تبارک و تعالی کے نام سے شروع کرتا ہوں جو بڑا مہربان نہایت رحم کرنے والا ہے اور ابراہیم علیہ السلام کی جنہوں نے حق رسالت پورا کیا اور یہ کہ 
کوئی شخص دوسرے کے گناہ کا بوجھ نہیں اٹھائے گا اور یہ کہ انسان کو وہی وہ ملتا ہے جس کی وہ کوشش کرتا ہے اور یہ کہ اس کی کوشش دیکھی جائے گی پھر اس کو اس کا پورا پورا بدلہ دیا جائے گا وہ آخر دعوانا ان الحمد للہ رب العالمین ذاک اللہ قاری صاحب لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹرمین پلیز رائز فار دا نیشنل اینتھم First of all, on behalf of the Chancellor, the Vice-Chancellor and faculty of Gandhara University, I thank our very honorable chief guest, Mr. Justice Kaiser Rashid Khan, Chief Justice Peshawar High Court, who, in spite of his very busy schedule, accepted our invitation on a very short notice. Thank you very much, sir. We are really, really grateful. Now, Madam Chancellor, I request you to declare the convocation 2022 open. Thank you. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, may the candidates be presented for the conferment of degrees of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Dental Surgery, Session 2020 and 2021, and postgraduate dental students. They may be presented. Graduates and postgraduates are requested to please rise in their seats. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, I present to you these persons who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Dental Surgery, MPhil and MSc in Dental Sciences, to which degrees I pray that may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gandhara University, I admit them to the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Dental Surgery, MPhil, and MSc in Dental Sciences. And in token thereof, I present to them these degrees and authorize them to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of these degrees. Thank you, Vijay. I request Dean Kabir Medical College to administer the oath to the graduates. All the MBBS 
and BDS graduates and post graduates are requested to please rise in their seats and take their oaths. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious and merciful, I, Doctor, son of graduate of Kabir Medical College, Peshawar, solemnly pledge that I shall abide by the principles laid down in the Code of Medical Ethics of the Pakistan Medical and Dental Council. I will concentrate my life to the service of humanity. I will give to my teachers the respect and gratitude which is their due right. I will practice my profession with conscience, dignity and fear of Allah. The health of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the secrets which are confided in me. I will maintain by all the means in my power the honor and the noble traditions of the medical profession. I will pay due respect and honor to my fellow colleagues. I will not permit consideration of religion, nationality, race, party politics, and social standing to intervene between my duty and my patients. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life from the time of conception, even under threat, and will not use my medical knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity. I make these promises solemnly, freely upon my honor. May Allah help me. Amin. I request the Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Justice Kaiser Rashid Khan, the Vice Chancellor of the Gandhara University, and the deans of Kabir Medical College and Sardar Medical College to please come forward to confer the degrees to the postgraduates. Dr. Mamuna Shah, Dr. Sayyid Muhammad Junaid. Now the female graduates of BDS and MBBS. Dr. Zinat Hadi.
ڈاکٹر بلقیس رحمان ڈاکٹر حافظہ سمیہ شوکت ڈاکٹر حلیمہ بیگم ڈاکٹر حیا سید ڈاکٹر کائنات نور ڈاکٹر لائبہ حسن کانسی ڈاکٹر لیلا خان ڈاکٹر ماہم گل ڈاکٹر ملکہ ملک ڈاکٹر ماریا نعیم ڈاکٹر مشال زیب ڈاکٹر نایاب خالد قاضی ڈاکٹر پلوشا احسان ڈاکٹر قرت العین ڈاکٹر ردا رضا خان ڈاکٹر سارا محمد وزیر ڈاکٹر سارا زمان ڈاکٹر شہربانو خان ڈاکٹر شیر بانو ڈاکٹر سدرا جاوید ڈاکٹر سمبل امان خان ڈاکٹر سیدہ گلے ہنا رزوی ڈاکٹر طیبہ صادق ڈاکٹر تحریم افتخار
ڈاکٹر تحریم الیاس ڈاکٹر طوبہ سید ڈاکٹر اسارہ مامون ڈاکٹر وجیہ سرفراز ڈاکٹر یمنا سرفراز ڈاکٹر یسرا احمد ڈاکٹر زہرا حمزہ ڈاکٹر زر افشان ڈاکٹر زرغونا تارک ناؤ ایم بی بی ایس فیمل گریجویٹس پلیز ڈاکٹر آمنا خان ڈاکٹر انم کیسر شنواری ڈاکٹر عارفہ محبوب ڈاکٹر عائشہ منال ڈاکٹر ایمن نظیر ڈاکٹر فاطمہ رفیق ڈاکٹر حافظہ مہک مہنور ڈاکٹر حریم ہارون وائن ڈاکٹر ہور شمائلا ڈاکٹر ہورین مقصود ڈاکٹر حزیلا اشفاق ڈاکٹر عزا بنوری ڈاکٹر جویریا شاہ ڈاکٹر خوشحالا خان ڈاکٹر ماہ رحیم ڈاکٹر مہنور فضل ڈاکٹر مہنور امتیاز ڈاکٹر مہنور مقصود ڈاکٹر مائلا خان
Dr. Rumina Imran, Dr. Rukaya Zaman, Dr. Safina Hassan, Dr. Sana Akbar, Dr. Sana Rauf, Dr. Sara Asad Oregzai, Dr. Sareen Ikram, Dr. Seema Gul, Dr. Seherish Khan, Dr. Shah Gulan, Dr. Shanza Khan, Dr. Shirin Zeb, Dr. Sidra Ismail, Dr. Sumera Khan, Dr. Sumaya Iqbal, Dr. Sumaya Shafkat, Dr. Sumbal, Dr. Tayyiba Shah, Dr. Umama Khalid, Dr. Uneza Nawaz, Dr. Vajiha Ayub, and Dr. Varda Shah, Dr. Alina Saeed, Dr. Gulrukh Ismat, Dr. Hafsa Fahim, Dr. Laiba Aman, Dr. Maham Aruj Zedi, Dr. Maham Ayaz, Dr. Maham Hassan, Dr. Malalai Mumtaz,
डॉक्टर मरियम महसूद डॉक्टर मीना कादिर डॉक्टर मुनिमा शकील डॉक्टर नायाब अहमद डॉक्टर परखा पुख्ताना आफरीदी डॉक्टर सादिका नाज डॉक्टर समन फिरदोस डॉक्टर सारा अजमल डॉक्टर शानदाना मलिक डॉक्टर एमन सलीम डॉक्टर अनीसा जाहिद खान डॉक्टर अनम विलायत डॉक्टर आसमा बीबी डॉक्टर अतिया अली खान डॉक्टर आयशा गुल डॉक्टर फातिमा फयाज डॉक्टर गुले हिना डॉक्टर गुलमकई जमान डॉक्टर हफ्सा मलिक डॉक्टर हिना सुभान डॉक्टर कायनात सादिक डॉक्टर काजुल कुमारी डॉक्टर कलसूम बादशाह खान डॉक्टर खिजरा रियाज डॉक्टर महनूर जका डॉक्टर मेमूना इनायत डॉक्टर मुनीबा जुबैर डॉक्टर रियासत डॉक्टर रूबीना अहमद
डॉक्टर सबा अनवर डॉक्टर साइमा बीबी डॉक्टर समर शाह डॉक्टर सिहाम गुल डॉक्टर शुमाइल यूनिस डॉक्टर सोमा अली डॉक्टर सूबिया हबीब डॉक्टर सैदा फजा गुल डॉक्टर सैदा इफत डॉक्टर सैदा नजम नजम रजा डॉक्टर युसरा बीबी डॉक्टर जेब बाबर अली एंड डॉक्टर जैनब अख्तर डॉक्टर आयशा गुल डॉक्टर साजिद हुसैन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट नो मेल ग्रेजुएट्स ऑफ बी डी एस आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू प्लीज लाइन अप डॉक्टर अब्दाल हिदायत डॉक्टर असद खान डॉक्टर अशफाक सईद खान डॉक्टर हसीब हारून डॉक्टर जुनेद हमजा डॉक्टर मामून शफीक डॉक्टर मशहूद अहमद डॉक्टर मोहम्मद तलहा डॉक्टर मोहम्मद इस्माइल एंड डॉक्टर मोहम्मद तलहा शाह डॉक्टर मोहम्मद उसामा रहमान डॉक्टर मुर्तदा महमूद खटक डॉक्टर साजिद खान डॉक्टर शहरियार आतिफ हनीफ डॉक्टर तैमूर कमाल खान डॉक्टर तहसीन हनीफ
डॉक्टर हमजा फैज डॉक्टर हसन लईक डॉक्टर कामरानुद्दीन डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अवैस अशफाक डॉक्टर मोहम्मद इंतखब अमानत डॉक्टर मोहम्मद मुगनी डॉक्टर मोहम्मद मुजम्मिल शाह डॉक्टर मोहम्मद सुलेमान शाह डॉक्टर मोहम्मद वलीद डॉक्टर मोहम्मद जमीर डॉक्टर नोफिल जमान खान डॉक्टर नोमान खान डॉक्टर साइम अरशद डॉक्टर शहीर आमिर डॉक्टर शहीर खान डॉक्टर शाहजेब खान डॉक्टर शिराज अहमद डॉक्टर उबैदुर रहमान डॉक्टर उजैर सुबहानी बंगश नो एम बी बी एस मेल ग्रेजुएट प्लीज डॉक्टर इजहार सादिक खान डॉक्टर अब्दुल मतीन डॉक्टर अब्दुल रहमान डॉक्टर अब्दुल वाजिद खान डॉक्टर अब्दुल वारिस डॉक्टर अली मोमिन डॉक्टर अरमुगान खटिक डॉक्टर बहराम शोकत डॉक्टर एहसानुल्ला डॉक्टर इरफानुल्ला डॉक्टर एजाज अली शाह डॉक्टर जुनेद रकीब डॉक्टर कामरान अली शाह
ڈاکٹر ملک عبد الوہاب بنگش ڈاکٹر میاں ایمل اقبال ڈاکٹر محمد عارف خان ڈاکٹر محمد بلال خان ڈاکٹر محمد زید حامد ڈاکٹر محمد زبیر وزیر ڈاکٹر سعد احمد خان ڈاکٹر سنان خان ڈاکٹر شہریار خان ڈاکٹر شکر اللہ رحمت ڈاکٹر وجاہت اللہ زکوڑی ڈاکٹر ولید احمد خان ڈاکٹر یاسر حکیم ڈاکٹر یاسر محمد خان ڈاکٹر احمد حسن ڈاکٹر ڈاکٹر عامر رحما رحیم ڈاکٹر ارشد فیروز ڈاکٹر اشفاق احمد ڈاکٹر عتیق الرحمان ڈاکٹر باسط علی ڈاکٹر اعجاز الحق ڈاکٹر حسنین محمد خان ڈاکٹر احتشام شکور ڈاکٹر اشفاق عزیز ڈاکٹر اشفاق خان قریشی ڈاکٹر جاسم ممتاز ڈاکٹر عبد الحد خان ڈاکٹر محمد بلال ڈاکٹر محمد فہیم نعیم ڈاکٹر محمد حمزہ ڈاکٹر محمد حارث خان ڈاکٹر محمد ثاقب اللہ ڈاکٹر محمد شارق خان ڈاکٹر محمد توصیف
डॉक्टर मोहम्मद जेब डॉक्टर मुनीबुल्ला खान डॉक्टर मुसब उमेर डॉक्टर नोमान नईम डॉक्टर कमर अजीज डॉक्टर रियाजुल्ला डॉक्टर सद्दाम हुसैन डॉक्टर साहिबजादा हजरत अनस जान डॉक्टर समामा जहांगीर डॉक्टर सरमद डॉक्टर शहाब खान डॉक्टर शहबाज खान डॉक्टर सुलेमान डॉक्टर सैयद मोहम्मद हारिस डॉक्टर ताजदार आलम दाऊद डॉक्टर तुफैल अहमद डॉक्टर उमर हैदर डॉक्टर उमर रियाज अखुनजादा डॉक्टर उस्मान सईद खान डॉक्टर उजैर खान डॉक्टर जरक खान थैंक यू वेरी मच सर सर Mr Vice Chancellor sir may the recipients of university gold medals be presented they may be presented the graduates who top their final professional mbbs and uh, bds examinations and those who have been declared best medical and dental graduates of their respective sessions are requested to please rise in their seats i request again the chief guest mr justice kaiser rashid khan to please award the gold medals the gold medal for mbbs 2020 डॉक्टर अब्दुल वाजिद खान ही टॉप ही टॉप सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सर्जरी एंड ही इज अवार्डेड सरजद मोहम्मद कबीर अवार्ड फॉर सर्जरी
Dr. Abdul Wajid Khan, he taught subject of medicine. Again, Dr. Abdul Wajid Khan, he taught subject of obstetrics and gynecology. Dr. Abdul Wajid Khan also topped subject of pediatrics. And honor for Dr. Abdul Wajid Khan that he topped final professional MBBS 2020. And moreover, he was declared the best graduate of the session 2020. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Abdul Wajid Khan. Now, MBBS 2021. Dr. Musab Umair, he taught subject of medicine. <laughs> Dr. Umar Haider, he also taught subject of medicine. Dr. Hafsa Malik, he taught subject of gynae and obstetrics. Dr. Zeb Babar Ali, she taught subject of surgery and is awarded Surgeon Muhammad Kabir Award for Surgery. <laughs> Dr. Zeb Babarali also taught subject of pediatrics. Dr. Zeb Babar Ali, she also topped final prof MBBS 2021. And Dr. Hafsa Malik, she was declared the best graduate of the session 2021. No gold medals for BDS 2020. Dr. Tuba Sayyid, she taught subject of prosthodontics. Dr. Junaid Hamza, he taught subject of oral surgery. Dr. Nayab Khalid Kazi, she taught subject of operative dentistry. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Abdal Hidayat, he top subject of our orthodontics. And Dr. Abdal Hidayat also topped final prof BDS 2020. <laughs> Dr. Rida Raza Khan was declared the best creature of session. Now, BDS graduates of 2021, Dr. Hafza Mehek Mahnoor, she taught subject of orthodontics. Dr. Hafza Mehek Mahnoor also taught subject of oral surgery. Dr. Amna Khan, she taught subject of prosthodontics. <laughs> Dr. Shah Gulan, she taught subject of operative dentistry. Dr. Shah Gulan also topped final prof BDS 2021. And Dr. Amna Khan was declared the best graduate of the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a tradition that the students are awarded gold medals and degrees in the recognition of their hard work and tireless efforts. But the role of their mentor and teachers is vital in their life, which enables them to see this day of pride and honor. The Gandhara University recognizes the efforts of all its faculty members and in recognition of their hard work, selfless efforts and dedication towards the institution, the university presents them the best teacher award. I request the chief guest to please again come forward and confer the awards to the respected faculty members, please. The best teacher award of Kabir Medical College for the year 2021 goes to Dr. Rifayatullah Afridi. And the best teacher award 
for Sardar Begum Dental College for the session 2021 goes to Dr. Muhammad Ali Chukhtai. Congratulations to Dr. Rifaid and Dr. Ali Chukhtai. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I invite the Vice Chancellor of Gandhara University, Professor Ijaz Hassan Khan, to present a brief report of the university. Professor Ijaz Hassan Khan, please. Nahmadu wa nasalli ala rasooli al-kareem. Amma abad. Fawzu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Honorable Chief Justice Pishar High Court, Honorable Chancellor Gandhara University, Members Board of Trustees, Deans, Principals, Faculty Members, Respected Guests, Proud Parents, and My Dear Graduates. Assalamu alaikum. I bow my head before Almighty Allah the most gracious and the most merciful for giving me the opportunity to welcome you all to this special convocation celebrating the glorious 25 years of Kabir Medical College and Sardar Begum Dental College. <clears throat> it was vision of the founder and my worthy teacher, late Professor Muhammad Kabir, which has resulted in the institution we feel proud of today. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Sir, it is rightly said that only change is constant. Sabat ek tagayur ko hai zamane mein. And the pandemic of COVID-19 left us with a lot of lessons learned. The most important lesson was online or distant education. I feel online education will be part of the curriculum in future, maybe partly, if not fully. And to keep, keep pace with the changing scenario, we have launched a very up-to-date learning management system with the input of our well-experienced and vibrant faculty. Gandhara University, being the first private sector university of the province, is expected and determined to play a leadership role. Two years back in November 2020, we decided to shift from conventional system to integrated modular system. Alhamdulillah, we have gone halfway through with modular system. Feeling academically accountable, we decided to start the new system from first year. And now the system has reached third year MBBS and third year BDS. And Sardar Begum Dental College is the first dental institution of this province for being pioneer in adopting integrated modular system. We have adopted latest teaching learning methodologies and strategies as per World Federation of Medical Education, WEFMI standards. It is a structured program fulfilling all the aspects of academic and clinical audit. Sir, we were having annual system for master degrees MPhil and MSc. Now we have shifted that to semester system, which has further structured the program, both in timing of completion and learning procedures. With the help of the faculty and board of studies, we have introduced post two years mid-level exam to our four-year MDS program, which will be a checkpoint 
in the four years program enabling the student to overcome their deficiencies. Sir, I am proud to tell you that last year Kabir Medical College got first uh, got a position in national licensing exam and we were placed in the first 10 institutions of the country and uh, as a result and in recognition of that in recognition of that national performance we were given three extra seats in MBBS by Pakistan Medical Commission. <clears throat> Last year 40 of these graduates, they appeared in FCPS examination and 30 passed in the first attempt, which is evidence of the strong foundation, which is evidence of the strong foundation they got at undergraduate level. Due to state-of-the-art facilities and exposure to variety of clinical work, we are among the few nursing institutions in the country to get enhancement to 100 seats in Farhanda Institute of Nursing from Pakistan Nursing Council. This year, Gandhari University started Diploma in Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, the first of its kind in South Asia, which is a modern approach in treating psychiatric illness with less or no medication. This is part of the social service beside academic we are providing. So we announced 25 seats and the criteria for admission was qualified psychiatrist and experienced clinical psychologist. Where hundreds of qualified professionals, they applied from all over Pakistan. And 25 were selected. The first contact session is over and we are planning to go for a master program in that subject. Sir, I'm really proud to say that research is the foundation and face of any academic institution. I am so honored to announce that we have added four research journals to our already existing Higher Education Commission recognized journal, that is Journal of Gandhara Medical and Dental Sciences. The four, the four added journals are Student Journal of Gandhara University, Journal of Farhanda Institute of Nursing and Public Health, Journal of Wazir Muhammad Institute of Paramedical Technology, and Journal of Orthopedic Specialties. Inshallah, this will result in quality research leading to further improvement in our national ranking. Student Journal is a step towards inculcating the habit of research in our medical and dental students, preparing them for future competitions. As a result of research activities, our students are actively involved in research competition, not only in the province, but nationally. And we believe, inshallah, these activities will be expanded to international level as we are in process of international exchange programs. Mentorship program is the backbone of any academic institution. Mentor and mentee is a very strong bond. So we have started mentorship program last year and the program has received a very positive feedback from the students as well as teachers. And sir, in the end, assessment is the most important part. So we have further streamlined our assessment tools and now in the modular system, the students will not only be tested at the end of the year, but continuous assessment throughout the year in all the three blocks and end of the year exam will go on, which will give holistic picture of performance of the student throughout the year. Student and faculty feedback is regularly practiced, which leads to review, revision, and upgradation of the curriculum, and adopting latest development in the field of medical education as a result of that feedback. Kabir Institute of Public Health is the first recognized institute in the province for MPH program since 2010, Master in Health um, uh, MPH. So the Higher Education Commission has changed the curriculum and nomenclature of the MPH 
to MSPH, Master of Science in Public Health, which we successfully adopted along with the curriculum changes and first batch of the MSPH is enrolled this year. <coughs> Gandhari University and our constituent institutions are busy in providing social services beside academics in the form of free medical camps, religious sermons, exhibition of art and photography, and arranging motivational lectures along with co-curricular activities. With the grace of Almighty Allah, we have added a nine-story building to Nasiri Teaching Hospital. Structure of the building is complete, and inshallah, within a year and a half, we will be having a 600-bed hospital in the best location to provide services to the community. I am so confident to state that without the support of the Honorable Chancellor, members, Board of Trustees, Director of Finance, the faculty, and management of Gandhara University Peshawar, these achievements are not possible. I con congratulate the graduating students, their parents, and the faculty on this arduous accomplishment. Dear young graduates, be thoughtful and respectful to your parents and teachers who have extended their full support for the achievements extremely meaningful in your life. May Allah bless his mercy on our nation, our beloved country, Pakistan. I end with a prayer of Allama Iqbal for the youth. Jawano ko meri ahe sahar de. Jawano ko meri ahe sahar de. Pirin shahi bachon ko baalo par de. Khudaya, arzu meri yehi hai. Mera nure basirat aam kar de. Pakistan paindabad. Thank you, Professor Ijaz. I would now request the Chancellor Gandhara University, Mrs. Ruida Kabir, to present her convocation address. The Chancellor of the Gandhara University, Mrs. Ruida Kabir, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi yassir wa la tuassir wa tammim bil khair wa nasta'inu ka fatihun alim. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Respected Chief Guest, Respected Chief Guest, the Honorable Chief Justice of Peshawar High Court, Deans and Principal Affiliate Colleges, proud parents and their graduates, Assalamu alaikum. I feel extremely honored to take the rostrum as Chancellor of Gandhara University as we commemorate the sixth convocation of this prestigious institute. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the management, as well as the staff and students of this institute, I welcome you all. Today is a proud day for the fresh medics and their families, equally cherished by the faculty members who helped them realize their ultimate goal. These graduates have been judged worthy in learning and character, thereby earning their respective honors. Honorable Chief Guest, Gandhara University was uh, founded with the basic aim of fostering academic excellence and improving the quality of education related to health sciences. This was the underlying principle which motivated its founder and chairman, late Professor Muhammad Kabir. He was able to accomplish this difficult task in, the, in an exemplary way with the help of his esteemed colleagues. It is the sincerity and the hard and honest uh, work of, of the professional and technical staff of this university, which has helped us attain a position of respect and envy. The university has been going from strength to strength as time passed and even continued to thrive during the COVID era. The staff of Kabir Medical College and Sardar Begum Dental College deserve appreciation of exploring alternative avenues. During this time, they further developed and refined the modular system of medical education. With its implementation, we have taken a strong lead 
especially in dental sciences, where we proudly claim to be the pioneers of the modern integrated approach to learning in the province of Khyber Pukhtunkhwa. Further, elevating the status of our university is the level of research at our institution. Our scientific research journal, Journal of Gandhara Medical and Dental Sciences, recognized by the pa Pakistan Medical Council and Higher Education Commission, has attained a position of respect among not only private public sector hospital, but has won a claim on international platform as well, gearing for eminent, eminent recognition our, our ailing uh, allied uh, journals, namely Student Journal of Gandhara University, Journal of Arkhanda Institute, for, uh, Institute of Nursing and Public Health, and Journal of Wazir Muhammad Institute of Paramedical Technology. Commitment to research forms the backbone of any teaching institute, and we take the satisfaction and our emphasis on it. My dear graduates, I, take, I urge you to take with you the training and education imparted upon you by this university. And you go out in the world as ambassadors of this institution. It takes me pride when I look at the faculty of the public and private medical colleges in Khyber Pukhtunkhwa. Most of the head of the departments are graduates of Gandhara University. And this I tell you, that you are the future. Today you have graduated, but at no time you will be leading the department of your choice. We at Gandhara are proud of you and wish you truly happy and fulfilling lives ahead. Congratulations. Thank you, madam. Now I, I would request the chief guest of today's ceremony, Mr. Justice Kaiser Rashid Khan, Chief Justice Peshawar High Court, to address the audience, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Worthy Chancellor Gandhara University, my dear, my dear friend of 55 years, the worthy Vice Chancellor of Gandhara University, worthy honorable uh, respected deans, faculty members, and uh, my dear graduates, their parents, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. It's a moment of personal pleasure for me to be here in this August gathering among some of the luminaries of the medical profession. My heartiest congratulations to the medical graduates who have successfully completed their MBBS and BDS studies after putting in a lot of labor and hard work all these years. I also congratulate their parents who have rather worked much harder right from the day when they took their unwilling toddlers to get them admission in the kindergarten, followed by all those school studies, studying, staying on the prayer mats for long hours, praying for the high marks of their children in metric and FSE till they were able to successfully enter the portals of Kabir Medical College and Sardar Begum Dental College. Those prayers stayed with them all these five years of studies and continue to date. Today, I see their faces beaming with joy, laughter, and happiness. So at this point, I must say these graduate, I, I would rather address them as my dear children. So my dear children, you must be all, more, all the more grateful and thankful to your, the dedication of your teachers, professors, and your parents 
who not only taught and introduced you to the world of medicine but all, and surgery, but also inculcated and instilled in you the spirit and love for ailing humanity and your patients that you would come across. Opting and aspiring to become a doctor is one of the noblest profession that you have chosen for yourself. Simultaneously, a heavy responsibility is caused on you that you owe to your patients visiting you in the hospital or in your private clinics in the days to come. According to the mediated role doctors in curing illnesses, the Holy Quran says, Waiza marastu fahuwa yashfeen. It is Allah who cures me, who cures me when I am ill. The verse indicates that healing and medicine is truly from Allah, and the true healer is only Him. The verse shows the importance of medicine, your field. Besides practicing medicine, a, mass, a doctor, I must say that he must be a healer first. Today is not just getting your degrees. It is a day of re 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 reflection. It is a day of commitment that you want to do some good. It is not merely the respect, honor, and prestige that comes with medical degrees, or so to say, I'm sorry, on a lighter note, it is the big money as well, which comes in its wake, but certainly a chance to serve the humanity. You must think about yourselves to be the few chosen by Allah Almighty in His infinite mercy to become doctors or I would say Messiahs. By that count, a huge and big religious duty and obligation is cast upon you. You are young enough to have dreams, compassion, caring attitude, love, hope, plenty of dreams and lofty ideals and should be cherished and these should be your cherished desires. They are, they are not certainly calculated and measured. Not like all the degrees and metals that you have earned for yourself today, but in the end it is your dreams which matter. Those who suffer, I mean your patients, need you to do, to do something more than a doctor. They need you to be a healer. You are a healer if the relationship between you and your patient is a covenant of faith and not a business contract. You are a healer if you are willing to serve your patient without fee and at times even bear the expenses of his surgical procedures. And as someone rightly said, you are a healer when th you throw away that scale and fight for every inch of health of your patient against insurmountable odds as if Im immortality were embedded in you on your fingertips. You must not be just medical professionals, but doctors with a calling. A profession is something you are trained for, which you can change at a certain point of time in your life or something which then becomes a routine affair. A calling is something which captivates you, which appeals to your good nature, something romantic with whom you remain in love for the rest of your life. So be doctors, my dear children, if you should become doctors with a calling on, and not merely professionals. Secondly, we must not be complaining all the time but do our best to bring about a quantitative change in our country. We must make individual efforts. I am reminded of the age-old Chinese saying that it is better to light a candle than curse the darkness. 
and it has been aptly, aptly rendered by that doin of poets Ahmed Faraz when he says ke shikwae zulmat shab se to kahi behtar tha apne hisse ki koi shamma jalate jate so we are supposed we are supposed to be individual at the pakistani every individual pakistani we are supposed to be lighting our own candle rather than we may be having our own weaknesses we may have uh, our economy may be in bad shape but we should be grateful my dear children what we are we owe it to this country pakistanis by my estimate they are a brave nation they have faced insurmountable odds and inshallah they'll be able to overcome all the challenges that we come across these my dear children when you after having graduated from this college when go you go outside for doing your own specialization and for your super specialization you must always keep in mind that you are pakistanis that you are supposed to bring a good name for the country that you are supposed to bring respect honor and prestige for your country is you are all supposed to be trying hard to acquire in the acquisition of knowledge you should be specializing you should be in the all all the more in search of knowledge and as sheikh sheikh sadi says ke sadi sadi bar labe darya durda na chimi joi that poet persian poet says that sadi bar labe darya durda na chimi joi aur dar kame na hangasho gar mai talabi khahi sadi says that why are you searching for a pearl uh, on the river bank you should dive deep into the deep sea you should face whales and crocodiles so as to get your destination so in the in the in the line in the footsteps of sadi i'll be beseeching you all that you should be searching you should be acquiring knowledge and you should be bringing a good name for your country and another factor that over the period we have seen that despite this country give, have given us our best when we go out there are people who are all praised for their country but there are certain i have seen some people even despite having acquired all these knowledge and all these positions and all this prestige they say things which do not befit their position and their status so whenever you go out make sure that you speak very high of your country pakistan i'll be i'll be ending my these uh, few submissions with a few verses from who this uh, ahmed nadim kasmi ahmed nadim kasmi ne apne watan ke liye aur hum sab isi watan ke mashkoor hain jisne hame izzat di आज आप सब लोग इसी मुल्क और इसी मट्टी और इसी अर्ज पाक के तो फैल है कि आप इस जगह अहमद इम कासमी के कुछ अशार मेरे जहन में इस वक्त आ रहे हैं कि खुदा करे कि मेरी अर्ज पाक पर उतरे खुदा करे कि मेरी अर्ज पाक पर उतरे वो फसल गुल जिसे अंदेशा जवाल न हो खुदा करे कि मेरी अर्ज पाक पर उतरे वो फसल गुल जिसे अंदेशा जवाल न हो यहाँ जो फूल खिले वो खिला रहे सदियों यहाँ जो फूल खिले वो खिला रहे सदियों यहाँ खजा को गुजरने की भी मजाल ना हो यहाँ यहाँ जो फूल खिले वो खिला रहे सदियों यहाँ खजा को गुजरने की भी मजाल ना हो यहाँ जो सब्ज होगे वो हमेशा सब्ज रहे यहाँ जो सब्ज होगे वो हमेशा सब्ज रहे और ऐसा सब्ज कि जिसकी कोई मिसाल ना हो और घनी घनी गठाएं यहाँ ऐसी बारिशें बरसाएं घनी गठाएं यहाँ ऐसी बारिशें बरसाएं कि पत्थरों से बिरुद की मोहाल ना हो खुदा करे कि नखम हो सरे वक़ार वतन खुदा करे कि नखम हो सरे वक़ार वतन किसी भी शख्स को तशवीश माहौसाल ना हो 
خدا کرے کہ میرے ایک بھی ہم وطن کے لیے حیات جرم نہ ہو زندگی وبال نہ ہو بیسٹ آف لک ٹو یو آل اینڈ اسٹے بلیس اللہ Thank you very much, sir. Indeed, we are very grateful. <coughs> I request the Chancellor of Gandhara University, Mrs. Rida Kabir, to please present the convocation crest to the chief guest. Now I invite Dean Sardar Begum Dental College, Professor Shaheed Iqbal, to offer vote of thanks. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Honorable Chief Guest, Justice Kesar Rashid Khan, Chief Justice Peshawar High Court, Respected Madam Ruida Kabir, Chancellor Gandahara University, Professor Ijaz Hassan Khan, Vice Chancellor, Gandahara University. Professor Ahmad Hussain Mishwani, Principal, Kabir Medical College. Faculty of Kabir Medical College and Sardar Begum Dental College. Board of Trustees, valued guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum. It is my honor and privilege to offer a vote of thanks on today's graduation ceremony. I, on behalf of the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Faculty of Gandhar University, and I, and on my own behalf, extends a very warm vote of thanks to our Chief Guest, Justice Kesar Rashid Khan. We feel honored, encouraged, and highly excited with your presence, sir. Thank you very much for being with us. I would like to congratulate all the graduates and postgraduates who got their degrees and medals today. I also congratulate their proud and blessed parents and family members. My heartiest congratulation to Professor Rifayat Afridi and Professor Ali Chukhtai for getting the well-deserved Best Teacher Award for the session 2021 and 2022. I wish them all the best in their future career. We feel happy and proud with the feelings that we are contributing positively to our society. Ladies and gentlemen, an event like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels start rolling weeks ago. It requires bird eye detail and planning. We are fortunate enough to be backed by a team of colleagues who are very experienced and devoted, who know their job and are result-oriented. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation to Dr. Ismail Kamar for his enormous and untiring efforts in organizing and accomplishment of this function. Dr. Ismail, we admire and applaud your services you are simply awesome. I extend my sincere thanks to Professor Tahir Ali Khan, Professor Jawad Ahmad Kundi, Professor Nisar Ahmad, 
and Professor Iftikhar Niazi, and of course, Professor Babar Ahad, for their commitment, determination, and immense hard work for the success of this function. My love and appreciation to all the young colleagues and students who worked wholeheartedly in different capacity for this function. I would like to express my thanks to the Registrar Gandhara University and Controller of Examination for their efforts and help in preparing the degrees and lists of the medal winners. I am also grateful to the press and media personnel for their presence and coverage of the event. My sincere thanks to the administration of Shiraz Arena for their excellent arrangement and professional approach for this function. Finally, I would like to take the opportunity to present our sincere gratitude and appreciation to Mr. Ghulam Norani and the management of Gandhara University for the perfect logistic support, assistance, and encouragement they have extended to all of us for the success of this event. <laughs> Honorable Chief Guest, ladies and gentlemen, at the end, once again I want to express that we are most grateful to all of you we thank you for your time, participation. It was a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Shaheed. I request Madam Chancellor to declare the convocation 2022 close. I declare the convocation close. Congratulations to all the graduates, parents, and all those who got gold medals. The academic procession will now leave the hall. You are requested to please rise till the academic procession leaves the hall, please. <laughs>